It's January 19th, 2017. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. The Clifton Forge Town Council held a work session last Tuesday and thoroughly discussed how it performed with respect to a wide range of goals that it set for the previous year. Complete coverage of that session may be found on our website, AlleghenyJournal.com. One aspect of that discussion was the possibility of creating an ordinance to deal with what appears to be growing use of Airbnb services. Here's town manager Darlene Burcham on the issue. Airbnb ordinance that would allow us to capture the lodging tax from those homes that are now listing themselves on the Airbnb website. Um, and we had identified that uh, several homes here in town were in fact participating in that. Yeah. It's an issue that for at least a year the state of Virginia had kind of said they were studying and so a lot of localities really didn't do anything and then when there seemed to be no activity at the state level several jurisdictions started implementing Airbnb ordinances. The Masonic players will present the story of Helen Keller and the miracle worker at the historic Masonic Theater on January 28th and 29th. Tickets are available at the theater's website or at the ticket booth, and they range from $10 to $15. The Allegheny Highlands Arts and Crafts Center will host a reception for noted artist Alan Hickman from 3 to 5 p.m. on Saturday. More than 60 of his celebrated paintings will be on display there through March 3rd. The Allegheny County School Board will hold a budget public hearing on January 23rd. The meeting starts at 6 p.m. at its offices in Lomore. And for more agenda information, log on to AlleghenyJournal.com. And in other news, a Maryland professor will speak at WNL on February 2nd on the topic of digital traces that people live, leave behind. Footprints in the digital dust how your online behavior says more than you think is the full subject. The lecture begins at 5 p.m. at the Stackhouse Theater. Also at WNL, a Notre Dame professor will speak at the Stackhouse Theater on February 1st on the topic of international migration across the Mediterranean Sea. Mr. Alabari will discuss in detail how some European nations are handling the influx of refugees. And finally, yet another neat WNL exhibition will begin on January 26th at the Williams School of Commerce. Stephanie Sandberg's Stories in Blue is based on real life stories of six human trafficking victims, all dealing with modern day slavery. And now it's time for local obituaries. Joanne Hopkins of Daleville died on January 18th. Her funeral is set Saturday at the Nicely Funeral Home. Colton Stoll of Covington died at the age of 76 last Tuesday. His funeral was set Friday evening at the Eret Funeral Home. Ronnie K. Ray of Iron Gate died on Monday. A memorial service for him is set Saturday at the Nicely Funeral Home. Elmo McCurdy Smith Jr., 92 of Covington, died on Sunday. A graveside service in his honor was held Thursday. David H. Allen of Goodview died Thursday, January 12th. His funeral was held this past Monday. Keith H. Simmons, 85, of Clifton Forge died January 9th. A graveside service in his honor was held last week. For any obituary information, just log on to AlleghenyJournal.com. There's also a search function there. Now for some weather. Rain's likely to begin about 4 a.m., with a high of about 59 and a low of 48. And on Saturday, it looks like it's going to clear up with a high of 65 and a low of about 53. And remember, for more details on these and other stories, including more videos and other neat notes, just log on to AlleghenyJournal.com. And that's the way it is in Allegheny County, Virginia, on Thursday, January 19, 2017. Thanks for watching Journal TV.